her. She just wasn't giving me the whole truth. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, so then, uh, after, after she got pregnant and stuff, I started having nightmares coming from the devil. But at the time, I just was so confused. I didn't know what to think. I didn't know what to think at all. The devil was, t was saying, either you kill him or I'm going to kill you. Having all these dreams that somebody going to hurt me, somebody going to harm me. Freddy Krueger. I mean, just the whole nine. I mean, it was crazy. I mean, my, my hair started falling out because I was just smoking so much weed and just just paranoid all the time. Just like somebody going to get me, somebody going to kill me the whole time. But at the same time, it was dreams in between that that were saying, everything's going to be all right. Everything's going to be fine. You're going to be okay. But then they were coming from God, but I didn't know. I didn't know. I was so confused. Like I say, I was lacking knowledge. Only way I could defeat what was going on, the situation, was to get the knowledge. So God sent, God sent a, a Jehovah's Witness. His name was Tony. <laughs> and actually, it was, you know, they, they came and knocked on my door. And I, you know, talked to him and everything. And uh, at first, I mean, like, I'm, I never, usually I never let them, let no, you know, no Jehovah's Witness or anything. I don't even know nothing about them. But uh, they came, they came and I talked to them. And, uh, and, and uh, I asked them, did they know, did they ever, it was an elderly woman with Tony also. And I asked or have y'all ever had no, known, uh, heard about dreams that come true all the time? And she said, yes. The older elderly lady said, yes. So I was like, all right, well, yeah, I'll do Bible study with y'all, you know, because maybe they can help me with what's going on with me because I'm having these dreams that's coming true all the time, and I'm so confused at this point. I need help. So the Lord sent them to me. You know, I started having Bible study with them all the time. I learned so much, learned about the creation. I mean, we 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 just went through a little booklet, and I learned so much. I learned Jesus. I learned about Jesus. I learned the character of Him. I learned that no man could ever be that great. Nobody could even make up the stories that were told about Him. He is like awesome, super awesome. Nobody could make that up. And that's what I learned. I learned that from Him. Uh, I learned His character. I learned about God. I learned what He loves, what He hates. I learned a lot of things, you know, and. uh it saved my life. I, it say, truly saved my life. The Word of God saved my life. And I know if it saved my life, I know it can save so many other people's lives because it's just a point of it being explained to you and you receiving it in your heart. Like, I always believe in God, but I, you know, I didn't, I was kind of, didn't know really if Jesus was, I believe, I was, if anybody asked me, I would say, yes, I believe in Jesus. But then if, uh, if any, you know, if anybody, if uh but I, I didn't really know for sure you know exactly who we were exactly who it, like you know like belief like you know what i'm saying like i believe my mama is my mom you know what i'm saying i know that she's my mom for a fact you know what i'm saying but like uh let's say like a myth like uh santa claus you know when you're a kid you think he's real but then you grow up and you know he's not really real but uh in this case, Jesus, I grew up and I was like, well, I'm going to believe that he's the son of, of, of God, but I really don't understand it. But then once I read Matthew and, uh, you know, just the New Testament, but Matthew, Luke, uh, once I started reading that and got a hold of who he is, the type of person he was, wow, most amazing thing ever. He's amazing. And, um, uh, and since then, man, life has been great. I'm, uh, I've been growing in Christ. Uh, I've been growing, seriously growing, like never stopping growing. Uh, I still have things to work on. I still smoke weed. Uh, still watch pornography. Uh, I don't really, I don't sleep with a lot of girls. Uh, not at all. Uh, but, you know, I'm not perfect, but I am working on it, though. And, um. Uh, it's, it's it's a tough deal, but I mean it's a great life being a Christian. You know what I'm saying? Be honest, it truly is a a great life, and I suggest it for anybody and everybody who wants to be who wants to be anything in this world and wants to have eternal life. Which this world is coming to an end soon. The Lord told me in a dream that the world is coming to an end soon. Uh, he told me that it's going to end December 12, 2012. 
and I'm gonna no, I'm gonna write these dreams down, and I'm gonna uh, start telling y'all about them. I'm gonna put them in, put them, uh, you know, tell them on, put them on tape also. And the, the dream I had last night, I might as well just start recording the dreams. Like, you know, if I don't want to write them down, I can just speak them out. And I think that will be a lot easier on me. But I'm gonna start speaking on those. But I had a dream that uh, last night. The dream was I was running from something like the police or something, something that happened. It was like I was hanging with the the wrong people and uh <coughs> and, and Josh, I saw Josh Garner, uh Chuck's Chuck uh, Chuck Smith, Charles Smith, uh and some other people, but it was like I was there and somebody was getting into it like they was getting into it and I, I needed to, you know, like, I wanted to stop it because I say I, I told him, like, I put myself in, 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 in danger, you know, in dangerous way because I say I want to, you know, even if I'd rather me die than my friend die, say it like that because that's how I feel about people. That's, you know, so that's where my heart is. So, uh, <coughs> so I guess that's basically what that is. Sometimes I think that God just sends me these images and, you know, and sees where my head is at. Or, you know, maybe something like that. Or maybe to show me where my head is at. You know, what I really truly believe in my heart to let me know, you know, if I'm really believing what I'm saying. You know, because I, I mean, like, it's proven in my dream. Because, like, you can't fake the dreams, you know. It's like, if a, if a, a situation is presented, you're going to react in the dream like you would really, really react. And so... That's that's how I do, you know. So, I I I think I do really good on those tests, on on, on just or just letting me know about myself. Uh, lately, been a lot of preaching. I know I'm getting off the subject, but this has been like I've been preaching to a lot of people lately, like more, way more than usual. Like before, I was uh, wasn't really just preaching to people. I was talking to people, but then now, now it's more of I'm preaching to people, and it's pretty amazing uh so i think that's just something I, i've also changed my major to religion uh so maybe i've took a, t a different course of action and now it's uh it's different for me but uh but in the dream last night like i say uh i put myself in the line of fire and uh and i get like the police was going to arrest me but they didn't uh because i was like i didn't have nothing to do with that you know like that and uh because they had a gun, you know, and I was like, I was trying to stop them from shooting anybody. And I, like I said, I put myself in the line of fire, but it was cool, though, because it didn't, ha it didn't nothing happen. And uh, then it was like I was in the classroom, and it was dark in there. And dark means bad most of the time. It means bad. Light means good. Dark means bad in the dream. So dark setting means good. Light means, I mean, dark setting means bad. Light means good, but uh, anyway, so I was in a classroom, and it was a dark setting, and it was other people in there or whatever, and I was, they told me about a drug test or whatever, and, uh, and I was nervous and everything, but then this one guy was like, they're not going to drug test us, man, I know that for a fact, they're not going to drug test us, man, so I, I believe that has to do with, with what's going on right now, like I said, I still smoke weed, I'm going to be honest, I do. But uh, I'm working on it. I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop. That's a fact. That's a serious, honest fact. And I'm asking the Lord to give me the strength to do that. And it's going to happen. Uh, so that's just something. And that shows you that that's bad. It's not good. So anybody out there that wants to know, it's not good. To smoke weed, it's not good. You might pick up the habit, it's not good. But uh, <coughs> So then... I saw uh, I saw Stacy's brother uh, in there. Like I said, I mean, I, I will see people that I haven't thought of in years and things like that. Really, be honest, and, uh, and I see them in there just and they talk to me. But anyway, so he was a strong Christian. I believe he's a strong Christian. I, I feel him when he preaching. I heard him preaching and everything. He's a good guy. But uh, he just I seen him and he had some some shoes that he had made and. I uh, I was like, are those clown shoes? He's like, nah. He's like, but they were nice shoes though. He he was wearing a pair, I believe, and he was holding a pair. But they were nice though. And then uh, I seen Stacy. Uh, it was like I was in it. And then it went to a light setting, like it was light. 